Mercy Urgent Care on North Green River is ready to help your family with all those back to school ills and this cold, virus, whatever. It's already happening, isn't it, John? This is John McNulty. Yes, it is already happening. Uh, you know, you talk about back to school, uh, the schools are back in, the kids are mixing it up, and uh, in the doctor's offices, this is the time of year our offices start getting busy. So of the, course. Your, your pediatrician, your primary care, your urgent cares, this is the time they start getting busy. And a lot of it has to do with the kids back in school. Well, yeah, because they're sharing those germs that have been, you know, sort of marinating in the summertime and they come back together. That's right. That's so right. what are you seeing the most of right now as far as... Uh, uh, we're starting ailments. to see strep throat, uh, upper respiratory infections. We had a little bit of flu back in July. That's so interesting. That was very interesting. Not sure where that came from. But the flu really won't start kicking in probably until late October, and then last year it was actually January, February before we saw the, the heaviest flow. It was an interesting pattern, wasn't it? Sort of, sort of ramped up and it's ramped down and ramped back up. It's different every year. Yeah, it is. Well, now when will flu shots be available at your place? I think ours are coming in in the next week or two. So just call our offices. You can find us on the webpage at mercyurgicare.com, and uh, we'll let you know if we have them. Well, let's talk about, since we've talked about the ills that the kids bring home, what are some things that families and kids can do to sort of, you know, prevent those illnesses? Well, you can't prevent everything, but we always have some good common sense practices we can use. So let's talk about uh, uh, one that, that I like teaching little kids and us big kids need to know too, and that is if someone's coughing or sneezing, try and stay five to six or more feet away from them in the direction they're doing that. Why? Because the way that these upper respiratory illnesses are spread are through the vapor mm -hmm. of our cough or sneeze. And the pathogens live in the mucus of that. And also, um, also if someone's coughing or sneezing or they're real snotty, excuse the word. It but, is what it is. <laughs> uh, don't ask to borrow their ink pen, their uh, calculator, you. their cell phone. Why? Because they probably touched something. They've touched their, their personal property, and now you have the potential of getting affected, too. And how, those viruses and germs, how long can they live on a surface? It's all different. Viruses will last longer than a bacterial infection. Do the wipes and things like that help Absolutely. at all? Absolutely. Yes, ma'am, they sure do. Like wipe off your phone? Wipe, <clears throat> because sometimes you don't know who's been there. Right? That, that, that's exactly right. And also, don't eat or drink after anybody. And, you know, as adults, we don't do that much, but the little kids really need to know that, that type of thing. Right. And that's a good advice for teachers as well, just to think about your classroom. Teachers are very good about this. Uh, my wife's retired at 28 years as a teacher, and uh, they all know and they practice these, 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 these things every single day. Well, and we all need to do it in our home, too. Mm -hmm. So what other things do we need to do to be aware of our own health? What can we do to boost our immune system? What can we do to, to be stronger and be more ready for flu season? Well, well, you can eat more carrots with Ron, okay? <laughs> I don't think Ron's going to be doing too good this year with his carrot intake. You know, obviously, all of the supplements we can take with vitamins and minerals and such, all those things are very important. But uh, some of the preventative things, real quick, we all go into groceries, uh, doctor uh, um, offices, uh, our own homes, different places like that. Anytime you can not use your hand to touch a handle, use your elbow, me, use your hip, use your foot, whatever it takes you're gonna reduce the risk of, 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 of receiving something from somebody else. Um, I know that medical reps come into our offices all the time and they'll never put their hands on the, on the armrest or reach for magazines, why? They're in a doctor's sick office. Sick people. <laughs> the last person who there. sat there was probably a sick person. So being conscious of those real common sense things like that make a huge difference. And, and here's the last one. Um, when dealing with uh, something like that, uh, you're going to get, um, anytime you go out in public, make sure you've got some of the, um, yeah, the, hand, sanitizers the hand sanitizers right. with you to follow that. And also, a good practice is when you're going to cough or sneeze, do it in your elbow. Don't cough in your hand. And, you know, Angie, and good then, to hey, see you. It's good to see you. Sneeze right. in your hands. Hey, Ron, good to see you again, <laughs> right? So uh, those types of practices are great prevention to help us get through the season without being affected. Well, thank you, John. But if you, if you do get infected, Mercy Urgent Care is here for you. Thank you. Come see us at Mercy Urgent Care. Yes, ma'am. Thank, thank you. Thank you. We'll be back with more Lifestyles later. This portion of Lifestyles is sponsored by Mercy.